Good morning, y'all. I'm a whole wifey. It's been a hot minute since I've one, posted on YouTube, two, even vlogged at all. We need a little debrief, okay? I need to explain all the wedding details. I need to explain all the honeymoon details. Maybe not all the details. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanna like catch up. This is gonna be a very chatty video, honestly. I might go sit upstairs, get a little bit comfy, and we can debrief on some things. Hi. Let's get a little bit comfy. We'll get settled in here. Wow, it's been a hot minute. I don't think I have posted in like a while. Right, Beans? Here, little stinky. We freaking got married. We literally got married. The last vlog that y'all saw was like the day before we left for Mexico. So we got married in Cancun. It was a destination wedding. It was super small. Total, we ended up having like 56 people. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Total, we ended up inviting like 56 people, which was honestly the perfect amount. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the whole process of like getting there, getting everybody there, getting everyone shuttles, figuring all that out was very, very stressful. So up until the wedding, I'm not gonna lie, I was very panicked and stressed because nothing was really going to plan. The hotel that we stayed at, it was a Hilton. It was honestly horrible. <laughs> if I could change anything about the wedding, I wouldn't change anything else other than the resort that we stayed at. The people were just like so unhelpful, so unorganized. Communication was just so bad. Like no one would help us with anything. Getting our rooms was terrible. <laughs> it was just like that part was like super stressful and just did not go smoothly. But it's okay because the whole day ended up being like absolutely perfect. But leading up to the wedding, I was very stressed. But like nothing was gonna rain on my parade, okay? Nothing. And then day of the wedding, it was just so fun. We all got ready in a separate suite. Bronson's mom, my mom, all of my bridesmaids, Bronson's sisters stopped by for a little bit and it was just so awesome. It was kind of like my bachelorette, like the same feeling of like all these people flew so many miles to come to another country just to like support me and Bronson and watch us get married and just like love on us. And it was so awesome. I can't even explain it. That was just like the best feeling ever. And I am so happy that I decided to do bridesmaids. I was debating it. I don't know. I I feel like you hear about like so much drama and like all this stuff and honestly we didn't have any of that i was not surprised because my friends aren't like that but you never know weddings make people crazy and so i was like i don't know if i want to do bridesmaids but i'm so happy i did because it was so fun and then i did a first look with my dad which was really sweet so my dad like cried all day long it was so sweet also seeing my dad in a tux like he is like a country bumpkin like such a country man so like seeing him in a tux was just it was precious and then my mom she looks so beautiful she like helped me get into my dress that was all like so perfect then after the first look with my dad we went into first look with me and Bronson so we ended up doing a first look because we did private vows and I was debating you know how you can hold hands behind a door or like the groom can like stay turned around and you can like hug him or whatever we both had talked about it and we were like we really want to like see each other like be face to face when we're saying our vows and so that was like kind of the only option and honestly I'm really happy we decided to do that because because it took away so many of my nerves. I was like honestly kind of nervous on the day. I didn't think I was going to be, but I was like kind of nervous just to like be up there in front of all of your friends and family is like a bit nerve wracking. Yeah, I was a bit nervous for that, but like seeing Bronson, it was just like his vows, they were so sweet. You guys, we have these vow books and I was like so nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, what if he doesn't write enough? Like, you know boys, like I feel like boys never really, they always like underplay stuff like that. But no, Bronson absolutely knocked out of the park. His vows were incredible and he filled up the entire vow book. He wrote more than me and I was like, I love you. It was just so sweet. He was so sweet. That was like my favorite part of the whole day. But the problem in that hotel was the place that we wanted to do our first look, I guess was like taken on the day of reserved for like a go-karting event or something. I don't know. I don't even know what was going on over there. But my photographer and videographer like were searching the whole hotel for like a place that we could do first look privately. Because on a resort, it's like there's people everywhere and it's just like not very private. And I should have thought about that when I was planning this because like that was the one thing we wanted was a very private wedding and that was the one thing that was like eh. but we ended up finding a spot on this like little nook but it was like in between two hallways inside the hotel and so I had bridesmaids go on either side like far down the hotel so they couldn't really like hear us and they were basically like just standing guard like bodyguards keeping people from coming out of the room being like excuse me 
finish by the end of the evening because you just like wait five minutes. So it all worked out, but we had them do that. And then everyone got seated and then was the ceremony and it was so beautiful. However, it was so windy. Oh my gosh. You cannot tell in these photos. Maybe I'll post some photos that are like, you can tell from the wind. It was so windy. My veil was literally about to fly off my head and mid ceremony, I just grabbed it and literally like chucked it on the ground. Like I was like, get this off me. It literally was flying parallel in the air and it was like hitting Bronson's grandma in the face. And I was like, oh my God, take this off of my head. And so I just like ripped my veil off like mid ceremony. But honestly, all of that like makes for a good story. You know, like even though there was like definitely some things that like went wrong on the day, it all ended up being so perfect. The most perfect thing on planet earth was like our reception. Everything came together so wonderfully. We used outside vendors for our reception. If you're having a wedding in Mexico, you gotta use this place. They're called Cantero and they do lighting, they do rentals, they do florals, they do everything. And they did such a good job. My Pinterest dreams literally came to life in the reception and it was just everything I ever wanted. And the dance floor was actually like very small, but with our wedding being small, it was the perfect size. Like everybody, we just took up the whole dance floor and it was so much freaking fun. Nobody left the dance floor all night long. That was one thing that was just like the best part about our wedding because every single person there was like having a great time and it was phenomenal and it was just so much fun. And then at the end of the night, we all jumped in the pool and it was so fun. And then being Bronson, we literally did an Irish goodbye. We didn't even like say bye to everybody. We just like <laughs> scurried off. Yeah, it was so much fun. And then it was our wedding night and it was great. I know all of you guys are wanting the tea, but it was great. It really was great. And if you're thinking of waiting till marriage, I highly recommend. It was just so special and everything about it was just perfect. Like the whole day leading up, the whole night, it was just like so, so perfect. And it was everything I could have ever dreamed of and imagined. And I just, I love him. Now he's my husband. So crazy. I officially changed my name, by the way. If you're noticing that, I am now Kylie Holbeck on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of them. RIP Kylie Ross. You had a good run, but now I'm Kylie Holbeck, so crazy. So now on to our honeymoon. The honeymoon, okay. My lashes are sticking together. You guys know we were like debating, like we had like a last minute kind of like freak out moment because we were like, oh my gosh, we're checking the weather and the temperature was gonna get up to like 65 max. And there were a few days that were like cloudy, rainy. Honestly, it ended up being around 50 the whole time. It was even colder than we had expected and it rained a good amount of days. Obviously it was our honeymoon. So like we had a great time. Like we were just happy to like be together, but I wouldn't say it was like the Italy vacation of our dreams. Like we definitely want to go back in the summer summer and like experience a, a true like summer in Italy. Maybe I can wear all my summer dresses that I bought and didn't wear. I literally brought like two sweaters and like two pairs of jeans and I basically wore those the entire like two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was freezing. But the first stop, we went to Rome for like three days and Rome was incredible. The first day we were there, we literally walked 16 miles because like all of the stuff you want to see is like, this is 0.7 away, this is 0.8 away, this is 0.5 away and you can just walk there. It's like super, super walkable. You don't think like you can get 0.7 of a mile or 0.5 of a mile like pretty quickly. So we just kept walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. And we just made like so many squares. We had so much gelato, so much homemade pasta, pizza. Okay, and what they say about like gluten there is definitely true. I felt like I didn't necessarily feel like sick any of the time. The dairy, the dairy definitely got me, okay? I know, I don't think like dairy is much different there. Maybe it is, I don't really know, but like I definitely still had a little bit of, a little bit of trouble with but anyways, I digress. Our next spot was Sorrento and that was probably our favorite place of all the places was definitely Sorrento. We walked into our hotel, which we stayed at the Royal in Sorrento and it was so beautiful. We walk in and it's like sits on a cliff and it just like overlooks the entire ocean and it was so beautiful. The city's like so walkable and there's all these little places to eat and places to shop. That was definitely our favorite place. It was so gorgeous. And then from Sorrento, we took a ferry over to Capri, which the ferry, it was raining really, really hard when we were checking out of our hotel in Sorrento and we had to carry our luggage, which, you know, I'll take this one. This one will be on me. Um, I brought two massive suitcases and then one like little bag with like all my cameras and computers and stuff and then Bronson had one massive suitcase and then his like suit suitcase and then another little backpack yeah we way overpacked like way overpacked okay I didn't wear half the stuff I brought Italy in general is like all hills it's like all mountains and hills especially on the coast and Capri especially is like all hills 
So that was rough. And everything's cobblestone. Everything is cobblestone. So like pushing the little wheels on cobblestone, it's like ding, 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 ding. Not easy, especially when your bags are overweight, okay? But the ferry over there, we take a taxi, we get the ferry and we get on the ferry. It was the last one of the day, which we got very lucky that we were able to like hop on that one or else we'd be stuck in Sorrento, which wouldn't be too bad. But we wanted to go to Capri. Since it was raining, the waves were insane. The, this ferry was literally like jumping waves. I don't get seasick. I was about to throw up. I'm not kidding. I was like, Ugh. it was so bad. And like everyone on there, every time we'd hit a wave, they would all scream. At like the top of their lungs, it made it like scarier because there were like people screaming. So we hit a wave and people would be literally the whole boat. <laughs> And we were like, okay, too much. And then we get to Capri and we are dumb because we didn't bring cash. We didn't bring any cash, which yeah, is not smart. I don't recommend. But like everywhere there pretty much takes like Apple Pay or credit card, like everywhere. Except the taxis in Capri, they did not take card or Apple Pay or any of that. And so we had to have cash and we didn't. And there was like no ATMs nearby. So we had to push our bags. I looked on the maps and our hotel was only like 0.4 away. So it was like not far at all. Okay, and it but it was like up this hill and then up another hill and I was like whatever we can walk our bags up a hill like we work out. No, it was a hill and then it was stairs and then another hill. And the hills are like this freaking steep. But the hills were fine. It was the stairs, dude. Oh my gosh. And it was raining and they were slippery. And I was wearing these long gray sweatpants and they just got absolutely d destroyed. But we had to literally carry our 65 pounds each, the luggage up like a hundred stairs. It was so bad. It was so bad. But we finally got there and our room was beautiful. And we had this like little outdoor hot tub. It was gorgeous. Capri was gorgeous. I wish it was like a little better weather when we were there because I would have liked to explore a little bit more, but it was gorgeous. But it pretty much rained all two days that we were there. And then after that, we went to, where'd we go? Oh, Positano. That was our last place that we were going and Positano was gorgeous, but it is definitely hilly as well. Whereas like Sorrento wasn't that hilly. Like everything was pretty much flat and like very walkable and Rome wasn't that hilly, but like Capri and Positano are both on mountains or like these really steep hills. So it's just like a lot of walking and you pretty much have to take a taxi if you're going like anywhere past like a mile just because it's not super like walkable friendly in that aspect but Positano was really cool too it just kind of rained there too so we didn't get to like do much necessarily so that's why I'm saying we want to go back in the summer because we just got a lot of rain and it was so beautiful and so fun and we had such a good time and we ate so much mozzarella and so much pasta and so much pizza 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 it was incredible but we're so happy to be home while we were gone Bronson's mom was staying at our house and she was like like heading all of like the little construction projects that we had doing. So we had turf put in the back, our sauna got delivered, just like all these different things were happening. And so we were getting pictures sent to us while we were in Italy and we were like, oh, we really can't wait to get home so we can see it. Like it was so much fun, but we were gone for a week for Mexico and then we were gone for two weeks for Italy. It was a lot of traveling and we're gone basically all of April. So when we got home, we were just like, vegging. We just needed a week to like sleep and like get caught up and just like kind of settle back in. But now we're home and we're living the married life and it's crazy. It's so crazy to say like, oh yeah, that's my husband. It's so weird. So weird. It's so nice to finally say, I'm like, whoa, that, that feels weird coming out of my mouth. I like just got used to fiance and then it's like husband. <laughs> but yeah. We should have our wedding video done in a little bit. A film by Madison. That's who our videographer was and she was incredible and I cannot wait to see the footage. We also had like a super old timey camcorder. Super old timey. It's from like the 2000s, okay? So it's not like the quality difference is very different, but it's not like super old. But yeah, we had a camcorder that I found at a pawn shop and we brought it to the wedding and we got a lot of behind the scenes footage. My friends really came through with that. Mm, there is some good camcorder footage. Madison's gonna put it in the wedding video. And so I'm super super excited. It should be really cool. Can't wait to get it back and then I think I'm gonna share it on YouTube but I don't know yet. Let me know if you like really want to see it. I don't know if it's like a little too private because it like has all our vows in it and stuff so I don't know. It'll be a game time decision but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. I'm vlogging tomorrow so let me know what you want to see. If you want to see like how I'm working out, how I'm eating post wedding, just married life with me and Bronson, any home reno projects that we're doing, all of the above. Just let me know. No, it helps me out and uh, gives me an idea of like what you guys want to see in our life. I love y'all. Miss Holbeck signing off. See you in the next video.